Hey everybody, so this is Proverbs uh, 22 from chapter 7. The section is on natural response of an RC circuit. Um, so what we're looking for is we want to design an RC circuit with um, time constant of 50 milliseconds. So, and we want to design it using our imaginary toolbox, which is called Appendix H. So we take values from Appendix H. And um, that we're going to do in part A. And to do that one, you just have to go back to your book and recall that the time constant is, for an RC circuit is R times C. And from there, it should, uh, your design should fall out of that. Um, for part B, we're finding the general equation of voltage across the capacitor. That's for all time. And to do that one, you have to remember that at time zero, a capacitor in DC has the full charge of the DC voltage source. And in part B, they tell you what that voltage source is that they want you to write the general equation for. And once you have the initial voltage source, it's just the initial voltage source times a decaying response. So that's going to be E to the negative T over tau. That is part B. Part C, we want to find the time for which the voltage will reach 10, um, 10 volts. So when it will use up 40 volts of that initial 50 volts. To do that, you're going to set your general equation, which you found in part B, set that to 10 and solve for time. So that's how I approach those three problems. Go ahead and pause the video and give it a shot. All right, so the answer. For part A, we want to design a natural response of an RC circuit that has um, tau of 50 milliseconds. So we're controlling. The great thing about tau is that by designing, choosing values of resistance and capacitance, we can design how slowly or how quickly we want things to decay. So we have control over that as engineers. So tau, we want to be 50 milliseconds. And so, tau is also r times c. So, we are in the position of designing. I went to Appendix H, my imaginary toolbox, and I chose one microfarad. Uh, yeah, one microfarad. So, all we have to do is say rc is equal to 50 milliseconds. I chose a value for c of 1 e to the minus 6, 1 micros. 50, so that means my R, 50E minus 3, that means my R ended up being 50K. So, my design, from my imaginary toolbox, I didn't exactly have 50K. So, I, could, I came very close, I found a resistor with 2.7K and 47K, and I went with it. And in an exam, if my teacher took points off for that, I'd probably grumble a little bit, consider them extremely petty, and I'd probably roll my eyes and move on. So to me, 2.7K plus 47K, close enough, and I called it the answer. You can yourself, of course, do put resistors in series and parallel combinations and get much closer than I did if you want. Um, or be more clever. I wasn't very clever. I spent a grand total of two seconds doing this, that part. So, this is going to be 1 micro, 2.7K, and 47K. And I call that good. So, that is part A, my part A, for right or for wrong. I don't care. For part B, we want to find the general equation. So I'm going to pretend that I got exactly 50K from part A. So just remember that the general equation for a capacitor, the natural response of the capacitor, is going to be the initial voltage, and then that is going to decay at a rate of negative T over tau. Well, we know tau is 50 milliseconds, so 1 over 50E3 is 20. So I'm going to replace this with negative 20T. And the initial voltage they gave to me, they said that that was 50. And that 
is the answer for part B. 50 e to the negative 20 t volts is the general equation for 50 volts. Okay. So now we were, we're asking the question, when does the capacitor dissipate enough voltage to be down to 10 volts? That's our general equation. So we're going to set that to 10 volts. So we've got 50 E to the negative 20 T is equal to 10 volts. Divide by 50 gives us E to the negative 20 T is equal to 1 fifth. Take the natural log of the entire equation. That brings the exponent down, which gives me negative 20 t is equal to 1 fifth. Oops, not 1 fifth. Natural log of 1 fifth. So the t is going to be the natural log of 1 fifth. That's going to be over negative. 20. Put that into your calculator and you should arrive with an answer of 80.5 milliseconds. And that is problem 22. Um, okay, that's it. Thanks guys.